Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. I've come somewhere very, very iconic today to have a little look around. You'll probably recognize it from all the incredible late goals that have been scored here, the legends that have played here. And this is like a second home to me because I am at Old Trafford, home of Manchester United. The greatest team in Manchester, if not the world. Well, at the moment, they're probably not the best team in Manchester, but they're certainly the greatest. So ladies and gents, this is Old Trafford, home of Manchester United. Around 78,000 people come here every week to watch Man United lose normally at the moment, but we used to win here. We've got all the pictures this side of all the legends. There's our current manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. When I come on a match day, this is normally where I could be found before a game. Just sat here with a burger and some chips from the burger man over there. Just up on there, I'll give you a closer look in a minute, is a statue of Sir Matt Busby, who other than Sir Alex Ferguson, is probably the club's greatest ever manager. Rebuilt the club after the Munich air disaster of 1958, in which a number of players and staff who worked for the team tragically lost their lives. This building right here is called Hotel Football, and that is owned by uh, a lot of the ex-players for so the class of 92. So you've got Gary Neville, Ryan Giggs, Nicky Butt, they all have shares in this hotel here, and I think they actually own it. So I'm probably going to go in there for lunch in a bit, which is kind of cool. here next to the uh, statue of the legends. Bobby Charlton, George Best, Dennis Law, three of the best players to have ever played the game and they all played right here at Old Trafford for Manchester United. And there is Bobby Charlton with the Champions League, which we have won three times. This is like the, the sort of concourse area. And these are all the gates where people go in. And this is kind of the area that the fans would normally congregate on a match day. It's usually packed with people chanting and singing and all of that but today, dead quiet. As stadiums go, Old Trafford is actually quite a dated stadium. Um, there's a lot more modern ones out there these days. Like, I came here when I was uh, 12, I think, the first time. So that was like, that was like 18 years ago. And uh, it looks pretty much the same now as it did then. Hey, Gary Neville and Ryan Giggs, Paul Skulls, all of those guys actually own a hotel uh, just around the corner. And there's a restaurant attached to it as part of it. So I'm gonna go and grab some lunch there and uh, see if the class of 92 can do a good lunch for me. So that's that, have a nice little bite to eat, a cheeky Corona at the uh, lovely hotel football. Really, really good food actually, nice vibe, nice view of uh, Old Trafford while you eat as well so would highly highly recommend that for a pre-match bite or in my case a pre-tour bite. I first started supporting Manchester United in uh, 1996 I think it was and the only reason I got into football at all was because everybody at school used to talk a lot about football. I didn't know anything about football whatsoever um, so I decided I'd pick a team and uh, the only player I'd heard of at that time or the big sort of player that everybody talked about at school was Eric Cantona and he played here for Manchester United so that's how I became a Manchester United fan, actually. It's kind of by chance. This area that I'm in now is actually called the Munich Tunnel, uh, and this runs along the side of the stadium. Um, and in here, there's lots of, you can kind of see here on the wall, there's lots of memorabilia um, and different information and plaques and stuff and uh, things to read related to the Munich air crash, um, which obviously I mentioned previously is really something that shaped this football club and uh, made it what it is today. That sort of never say die attitude and uh, never giving in is part of who Manchester United are and that really came from these guys um, who lost their lives at, at Munich and Matt Busby's rebuilding of the football club as a result of that. So this area where I'm stood now is actually right next to the players tunnel entrance which is just there so on a match day the coach will pull in here and the players get off and there's always this area here is just completely full of screaming fans normally i'm one of them to be fair and sometimes the players stop here and do autographs and stuff one of the kids doing the stadium tour behind me he literally walked through the door and he said oh did uh, ronaldo used to play for manchester united Kids these days, they don't know how good we used to have it with Ronaldo, with Cantona, Beckham, the lot. So it looks like before you do the tour, you get to explore the museum, which is where I am now. Let me show you some of the uh, delights on offer. There's a lot of trophies here, not a lot of them are recent trophies, but you know, they used to be good.
it's from 1902. That's the oldest Man United shirt that they have in the, in the collection. The managers we've had in our history. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Maybe that one as well, to be fair. I feel like I've had a good look around, so I'm gonna go downstairs and start the tour. nearly a whole team. Three members of the backroom staff were lost too. So that left Matt Busby having to rebuild a team. Bottles of Lucas Aid and water for the players, but this is where they come at half time, full time, etc. Right now, full of people taking selfies. Is this the real dressing room? Yes, it's not a mock up. This is where United will be getting ready on Sunday. Preparing for the game against Watford. It used to be more rectangular, very basic, um, just wooden benches, and there weren't even these cushions for quite a while. And that was at the request of Sir Alex Ferguson. He said, that they didn't need to be pampered. You know, this is about them getting ready to play football. Side now, this is where the substitutes and the uh, manager will walk to take their seats for the game. I'm so close to the grass, we've been told not to touch it, but I'm so tempted. Stop me, stop me, stop it, Ash, stop it, behave. Anyway, this is it Old Trafford Theatre of Dreams. Amazing to be here, amazing to be so close to the pitch as well. Sadly, this is the closest I'll ever get. And if you can see, they've got the lights on at the minute to make sure that the pitch is ready. They've got a game in like three days' time. Apparently, the pitch is only 97% grass, didn't know that. Anyway, I'm going to go and sit in Oleg and the Solskjaer's seat. This is Oli's seat. Oh, very comfortable, Oli, very comfortable. Nice seat, good choice. And this is where the manager sits and the substitutes generally sit down there. And to be fair, like every museum tour you've ever been on in your life, this one ends in the club shop so you can buy everything. This guy right here, he's gonna save us this season. They literally sell everything Man United related here. They've even got a Man United laptop sleeve by Paul Smith. Only £165 for that one. They also sell these, which are really cool. These are the retro shirts. So this is the exact shirt that I would have worn when I was a fan as a boy. And they sell these. These aren't actually that bad, £55 for one of these. Um, fortunately, I kept mine from when I was a kid. Um, and I'm in the process of getting signed by all of the the squad so I don't need to buy this but it's pretty cool that they do them anyway I really like that and that's it the museum tour is done it took about an hour to get round and it was great I actually really loved it particularly being a Man United fan in recent years it's not been great there's not been a lot to cheer about um, certainly not in comparison to the past so it's nice to be reminded of why we love Manchester United why they're a great club and um, why we keep supporting them I supported Man United for a long old time so to see all the history again is, is good. Hopefully the, the team can turn things around on the pitch and continue to win trophies again. Oh, it's light out here. It's still raining. Welcome to Manchester, everyone. Folks, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please do subscribe to the channel as well. All together now, Ollie's at the wheel. Tell me how good does it feel? We got Sanchez, Paul Pogba and Fred. Actually, we haven't got Sanchez anymore and we may not have Pogba for very long. At least we've got Fred. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.